Hi friends, uh, I wanted to do another travel update for uh, Roxanne, Nico and I. Um, we are currently nestled in the Black Hills National Forest in South Dakota. Um, I can't believe that I had never heard of the Black Hills until we uh, started embarking on our RV journey. Uh, this place is a uh, outdoor adventurous paradise. Um, as we were driving in, there was billboards upon billboards upon billboards um, for different attractions. It felt almost like we were driving into Las Vegas for the wilderness. Um, there's, there's hundreds of campgrounds. There's RV parks and lodges just every five minutes. There's outdoor amusement parks with water slides and, and roller coasters. Of course, there's tons of lakes and mountain peaks and uh, there's several massive cave tours. Um, there's a dozen small towns nestled up in the hills with like casinos and restaurants. And there's dozens of museums, such as the the, the dinosaur museum. There's the the mining museum. There's the the High Plains Western Heritage Museum. There's a toy museum. There's the uh, in, uh, Native American Museum of North America. There's a Pioneer Museum. There's even a teddy bear museum and. There's uh, the reptile gardens. That's just to name a few. You could literally spend months out here on vacation and never do the same thing twice. Um, we had our first glimpse of the Black Hills last weekend when we road tripped out to Devil's Tower where they filmed Close Encounters of a Third Kind. And uh, then we headed out to just the old Western town called Deadwood where uh, Wild Bill was shot and they were doing some live reenactments out in the streets for entertainment. It's pretty cool. Um, this past Wednesday, we had to get our new refrigerator installed so on the RV. So we took the time to drive deeper into the Black Hills since we didn't have the trailer. So our first stop was Mount Rushmore, which honestly was quite an exuberant experience. Um, they had all the US state flags lined up in the front. Uh, there was several long, beautiful trails that went out over underneath the, the memorial. And of course there was um, museums and uh, educational, plenty of educational entertainment. After that, we headed up to the Crazy Horse Memorial. And if you don't know about this uh, memorial, I advise you to look it up. They're completely carving away the whole side of a mountain for this uh, statue. When completed, it'll be the second largest statue in the world. They started it in 1948, and it's estimated to be complete around the year uh, 2037. And attached to the memorial is the Native American Museum of North America. It's this massive multi-building compound of, of Native American art and sculptures and, and has a theater. And I actually got lost <laughs> trying to find my way out of the building out to the car. Um, well, then we uh, decided to take some time to drive around the Black Hills National Forest back roads um, while we're trying to find a good boondocking spot for us to stay over the next couple of weeks. Uh, we finally found and settled a place, a gorgeous place called North Pole, which is about 15 minutes uh, west out of the town of Custer. Um, and then we stopped uh, in Custer for lunch on our way back to get the trailer. And our, uh, our first night out here, we were bombarded with yet another wild lightning storm and that we had to seek shelter from. Um, I, actually, I snapped a, a photo of lightning hitting, hitting right next to our RV, which is pretty wild. And then for after a, a bunch of few miles of hiking on Thursday and Friday night out in our, our new neighborhood, um, uh, on yesterday, on Saturday, we finally uh, we headed up to Custer State Park where we drove the Needle Highway, which is a a one-lane highway that's winding up through the Black Hills peaks. We had to drive through a few different tunnels um, that our truck was barely able to fit through. And uh, we stopped and took a, a few mile hike up to the Cathedral Spires, which was a, a breathtaking rock formation that looks like a crown up on top of a mountain peak. Um, after that, uh, we headed down to Stockade Lake and took a stroll to the Gordon Stockade Historical Landmark where the Collins Russell expedition illegally entered Sioux Territory in search for gold in 1874. And after a quick lunch um, on the lake, we headed up to the Mount Coolidge Lookout and Fire Tower where we had a nice 360 degree view of the Black Hills. We were able to see Mount Rushmore and the Crazy Horse Memorial all the way out to 
uh, Rapid City and to the South Dakota Badlands where we will actually be staying um, here in the next few weeks. Um, we then drove the wildlife loop out to the bison center. Um, we did see a couple hundred bison in one big herd and you know saw a few dozen prairie dogs and some pronghorns but we failed to get any photos of that. Um, we stopped down at the bison center which was just a small museum about bison um, and on our way back we snapped a photo with this creepy large wooden bison. <laughs> um, we took a quick stop at the presidential summer cabin where President Calvin Coolidge and Eisenhower would spend their summers. Yeah, we headed back late. It was a nice clear night last night. Um, and we decided to take it easy today and uh, just stroll around the town of Custer and look at some of the shops while Roxanne plays uh, Pokemon uh, for community day. We took a trip up to Skywalker Trail where we were able to see over the city of Custer. Uh, next next weekend, uh, we'll be heading out to Jewel National Monument, which is the second largest cave network in North America and the fifth largest in the world. Uh, I think it's it's hard to believe that we've only been out here for four days, and we have another ten days to be hanging out in the south uh, the South Dakota Black Hills National Forest. So, um, all right, we'll talk to y'all later. Um, until next time, my friends.